This video will demonstrate how to install the Leviton DHS05 Decora Humidity Sensor and Fan Control. The Decora Humidity Sensor and Fan Control automatically detects excess humidity in a room and activates the ventilation fan to help lessen condensation and is great in areas such as bathrooms, basements, laundry areas, and home spas. It's important to note that the humidity sensor and fan control will not independently eliminate condensation. It must be used with a properly sized and rated ventilation fan. It is also recommended that it be placed in a closed space, close to the steam or vapor source to effectively measure and monitor for excess humidity. Please be certain to follow all wiring instructions and diagrams provided with the product. If you are unsure about any part of the instructions, or if you are not comfortable or familiar with working with electrical wiring, contact an electrician. When installing and terminating this Leviton device, have the following tools on hand. A flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, electrician's pliers, a wire stripper, electrical tape, a handheld voltage tester, and properly sized wire connectors. Installation takes approximately 15 minutes. The process shown follows general guidelines. Local codes take precedence. First, turn off the circuit breaker. Remove the wall plate and unscrew the existing device from the wall box. Carefully pull the device out until you clearly see the wires. Use the voltage tester to ensure there is no power present in the wall box. Carefully disconnect all the wiring from the device and remove it. Straighten and separate each wire so you can clearly see them. Make sure that none of the exposed metal ends of the wires are touching each other. The humidity sensor can be wired using either a neutral or ground connection, based upon wires present in your wall box. Here you will see two common wiring configurations, one with a neutral wire and one without a neutral wire. To start, you will need to identify the wires in your wall box to determine if you have a neutral wire present. The example on the left shows wiring with a neutral wire. The neutral is typically a white wire and is commonly bundled and capped off in the back of the wall box. The example on the right shows wiring without a neutral wire. You will notice there are only three wires present in the wall box. The white wire in this instance is marked or tagged, which indicates that it is controlling the load, so it is not a neutral wire. Keep in mind, although the white wire should be marked to identify that it is controlling the load, there may be instances where it is not marked or tagged. If the wiring in the wall box does not resemble either of the configurations shown and you are unsure, consult an electrician. First. We will demonstrate how to wire the humidity sensor if there are no neutral wires present in the wall box. In this example, in the wall box there is a black wire, which is the line or hot wire, a marked white load wire, and a bare copper wire, which is the ground. Keep in mind, the color of the wires can vary. The hot or load wire may be black, red, or a marked white wire that should be tagged to indicate it is not a neutral wire. The load wire may not be marked. The ground wire could be green or bare copper. If you are unsure, contact an electrician. With your fingers, pull firmly on the insulation to remove the pre-stripped section on the product's leads. Do this for each lead wire. Next, twist the lead's exposed stranded copper wire in a clockwise direction to prepare it to be terminated. Begin by taking the two wire leads on the device, the green wire with the yellow stripe and the green sleeve ground wire, and twist them together with the ground wire in the wall box in a clockwise direction. Insert the twisted wires into a properly sized wire connector and continue twisting until the conductors bottom out and cannot be twisted further. Continue by connecting one black lead wire on the device to the black line wire and the other black lead wire to the tagged white load wire in the wall box. Note that this device is designed so the line and load wires can be wired interchangeably. Give the wires a tug to ensure they are firmly held in the wire connector and dress with electrical tape to ensure stability. The device is now terminated. 
We will now demonstrate how to wire the sensor if a neutral wire is present in the wall box. In this example, in the wall box there is a black wire, which is the line or hot wire, a black load wire, white wires, which are the neutral wires, and a bare copper wire, which is the ground. Keep in mind, the color of the wires can vary. The hot or load wire may be black or red. The ground wire could be green or bare copper. If you are unsure, contact an electrician. Begin by removing the insulation from each of the lead wires on the device and twist the lead's exposed stranded copper wire in a clockwise direction to prepare it to be terminated. Next, twist the green wire with the yellow stripe on the device to the ground wire in the wall box in a clockwise direction. Insert the twisted wires into a properly sized wire connector and continue twisting until the conductors bottom out and cannot be twisted further. Next, remove the green sleeve from the white wire on the product and connect to the white wires in the wall box. Continue by connecting one black lead wire on the device to the black line wire and the other black lead wire to the black load wire in the wall box. Note that the device is designed so the line and load wires can be wired interchangeably. Give the wires a tug to ensure they are firmly held in the wire connector and dress with electrical tape to ensure stability. The device is now terminated. We will now test the device. Restore power at the circuit breaker or fuse. Wait 10 to 20 seconds for the humidity sensor to power up. The green light will blink once every five seconds during power up. Press the push pad and the fan should turn on. Now we will mount the device to complete the installation. Turn off power at the circuit breaker or fuse. Gently bend the wires and push them into the wall box. Screw the humidity sensor into the wall box. Install the wall plate. Restore power at the circuit breaker or fuse. The default settings for the humidity sensor are bath fan, auto on off, 20 minute timeout, and high sensitivity. If you want to change one of the settings, please refer to the product instruction sheet or the humidity sensor settings programming video for detailed instruction. Your Leviton Decora humidity sensor is now ready for use.